Hi everyone. Welcome to this lesson. So, in today's lesson, we'll be looking at uh, logarithms, how they're related to other functions, also how we can simplify these uh, logarithms. So, it's important to note that in mathematics, um, a logarithm is simply the inverse function to an exponentiation. Then, uh, from there on, we'll build it up by simply introducing some rules that must be followed. Okay, so what you see at the moment is an expression of the log. So a logarithm has uh, mainly three parts. We have uh, whatever uh, variable or coefficient, or rather just a variable that you can have down there, so as a base. Then up there you can have um, the argument, which is uh, the log. Then on the other side there we have the exponent. So to read this expression, it is actually read as uh, log x in base a is equals to y, meaning that log argument in the base is equals to the exponent. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to show you the relationship between these two. First of all, we have the logarithm. Then we also have the natural logarithm. So the logarithm, if you check on your calculator, you see that it's just written as log, while the natural logarithm is written as a, a ln or the lean function. So this is known as uh, the natural log. This is known as uh, just a log. So one thing you should know, which is very important, is that uh, first of all, we say that this is a base, this is an argument, this is an exponent. Same thing with uh, the natural log. This is a base, this is an argument, this is an exponent. If a logarithm does not have a base, just know that it is always in base 10. It's automatically in base 10. While when a natural log does not have a base, just know that it's automatically in base e. The exponent okay so now let's look at some rules that will guide us in this uh, topic okay so here are the rules we're going to go through these seven uh, basic rules for algorithms though uh, some other context of books can have uh, many other rules but these are the main ones that will guide us through the whole uh, topic of algorithms so we have one to seven, so we'll break it down one by one, so that at least we have uh, a better understanding. So let's begin. Let's start with rule number one, which is known as uh, the law of equivalence. According to the law of equivalence, uh, if you have a logarithmic expression, log x in base a is equal to y, this can change to a to the power y is equal to x. Because what is actually happening here is that if you see uh, this a, we know this a is a base. Then if you take it into exponent form, uh, we know that the, this here is the base to the power y. y is an exponent here. Even on the log uh, expression, y is also an exponent. So to convert from logarithmic form to exponential form, we simply say base to the power exponent is equal to argument. Base to the power exponent is equal to argument. Same thing here. Uh, since this is a lean function or a natural log, we know that it's in base e. So e to the power y is equal to x. e to the power y is equal to x. So let's quickly take some examples. Uh, so let's try to change to, to exponential form. So the base here, we know that it's 10 since we don't have a base and it's automatically in base 10. So this is equivalent to 10 to the power a is equal to 2 like that base to the power exponent is equal to argument same thing here this is equivalent to base to the power exponent is equal to argument so that's how we apply equivalence let's go to the next one the law of the product okay so the law of the product takes place on mainly two conditions condition number one very important the bases must be the same. Secondly, the two log expressions must be adding. So if the bases are the same, the two logs are adding, what do we do? We simply multiply the arguments. The argument for this part is x, the argument for this part is y. So we just say x times y. The base, we have 10 there, we have 10 there, meaning that even there we have 10, just like that. For the natural log, same thing applies. The bases are the same we have uh, both expressions in base x so since the bases are the same and the two natural logs are adding we simply multiply the arguments so uh, to take a quick example we have uh, these three logs 
first of all condition number one is it satisfied are the bases the same yes they are so i can say okay fine we're going to get something in the form of log in base two then secondly multiply the argument since everywhere we're adding so four times three times two which will get 24 that's it same thing here are the bases the same yes are the two logs adding yes so natural log the base e won't even write it there uh four multiplied by five we get 20 that's it so what this means is uh if you try to find log oh, sorry uh lean four plus lean five on a calculator the value you get is the same as simply pressing lean 20. okay let's go to the next law which is law number three so law number three is known as the law of the quotient product is where you have two numbers multiplying quotient is when you have two numbers dividing so it also works on two conditions condition number one is that the bases must be the same in this case they're both in base 10 secondly the two logs must be subtracting hence uh, we simply divide the arguments that's why we have x over y same thing with the natural log as well the bases are the same they're both in base 4 then simply divide the arguments now dividing two arguments does not mean that it's the same as saying log x over log uh, y this is two these are two complete different statements it's a common mistake that is usually made so you have to take note that dividing arguments does not mean dividing logs these will not give you the same value so taking our examples are the two conditions satisfied are the bases the same yes are the two logs uh, subtracting yes so we get a common base which is two divide the divide the, the arguments so we have four over two so what we we'll get is simply log two and base two so for now we'll leave it there because we haven't done the the law for, for that expression so we'll leave it there as long as the two logs are subtracting the bases are the same divide the arguments same thing here the bases are the same so we have lean 10 over 2 which will just get uh, lean 5 this expression does not mean we should say lean 10 over lean 2 this is what I was talking about these two are not the same make sure you divide the arguments only So the next law is known as the, the law of the power or the power rule. For this law, what you have is um, if you have a number before the log, that number you have before the log can become the power of the argument like that. So from there, it goes up there. Same thing with the natural log. The number before the log can become the power of the log. Now, this uh, works vice versa. If you have a power of the argument, it can become the coefficient of the log. Like we said, power of argument becomes coefficient of the log and vice versa. So if you have a number there, it can become the power of the argument. Also, the power of the argument can become the coefficient of the whole log expression. So taking our three examples, what we mean is uh, this power of the argument can become the coefficient. So that we have, sorry, we have x log 3 in base 2, like that. This one here, we can say the power, other the coefficient can become the power. So which is lean y in base x is equals to, uh, it has a power 8, like that. So it just depends on uh, what scenario is supposed to be used. It can either become a coefficient or it can become the power of the argument, depending on how the question drives. Let's look at the next law, which is... Uh, the log of one okay so the log of one uh for this one is pretty straightforward as long as the argument is one everything the whole expression will just give us zero as long as the argument is one everything is zero as long as the argument is one everything is zero even if you bring this there everything will still be zero now um i'll show you why it gives zero very quickly let's uh, bring in the idea of um, equivalence law number one so we're saying log maybe in base uh four 
argument 1 uh, is equals to 0. So why does this give us 0? Simply because uh, to change this into exponential form by using law number 1, which is equivalence, we're going to say base to the power exponent, which is 4 to the power 0, is equals to 1. And we know that any number raised to the power 0 is equals to 1. So this shows that this expression is uh, mathematically correct. So as long as the argument is 1, regardless of the base, as long as the argument is 1, everything will just give us a 0. The next law is the log of a base. So the log of a base changes. For this one, as long as the base and the argument are the same, the expression will give us 1. As long as, remember, there's a base 10 there. For this one, there's a base e there. So as long as they are the same, it will give us 1. As long as we have base 2, argument 2, the answer will be 1. So that's like we're saying. As long as the argument and the base are the same, everything equals 1. Okay, so for the last uh, rule that I'm going to show you is known as the change of base. The change of base is when you are finding an expression, then you have to change the base to in order to apply certain rules. Because remember, if you look at um, some rules like number 2 and 3, which is uh, the product and the quotient, they require you to have the same base. So the question is, what if we don't have the same base? What do we do? We apply rule number seven, which is the change of base. How do you change the base? That's the question. So if we have the base x like this, and we want to change it maybe to base 10, what do we do? We get the base 10, log in base 10, log in base 10. The argument of what we want to change becomes the argument of the numerator, while the base becomes the argument of the denominator with the same base that you want, which is base 10. Same thing here, we have an expression in base x and we want, to, we want to change it to base 3, for example. What do we do? We simply say natural log base 3, natural log base 3. This argument becomes the argument there. This base becomes the argument there. Hence, we have changed the base to base 3. As simple as that. So quickly, uh, just to go through these examples. Assuming you want to change to any base of your choice, any base. But uh, of course, it won't, you won't have to think of uh, any base when you are solving an equation. What will guide you is uh, how the equation looks like. Uh, we'll, we'll look at that when we start looking at some examples. So, assuming I want my answer in base, um, let me see, base 5. So, to change this to base 5, what I'm going to have will be log in base 5 divided by log in base 5. The argument becomes the argument of the numerator. The base becomes the argument of the denominator. So I've changed everything to base 5. We have this expression here, which is uh, uh, log 8 in base 10. So I can change this to any base. Let me choose base m later. So uh, let me just write it here. Log 8 in base 10 can be written as, I want the base m, so I'll say log in base m. The argument becomes the argument on the numerator, log in base m. The base becomes the argument of the denominator like that. It's as easy as that. So for this one, I want to choose another base. Maybe I'll go for base, um, base 10. I want to change this to base 10. So to change that to base 10, you know it's already in base E, not 10, because it's a natural log. So it's in base E. So I'm going to say lean in base 10 of 4 over lean in base 10 of E. The argument becomes the argument of the numerator. The base becomes the argument of the denominator. So that's how we change the base. So, so far I've just introduced you, I just introduced um, uh, the, the, the simple basic rules of logarithms. So now we're going to see how we can simplify, expand, uh, evaluate, solve equations for logarithms. And we'll do that in the next video, so make sure to, to catch it. Thank you very much.